Hey, how's it going? I just want to do a quick and dirty on uh, Microsoft Visual Studio 2013 searching uh, a SQL database with a text box, a button, and then displaying those results in a grid view. Now if you look here on this computer that I'm running, I've got an instance of SQL Server. Uh, my database is called uh, Shridko. And then in my tables, I've got columns, name, state, and gender. And I'm primarily going to be writing my SQL query uh, in my C Sharp code uh, to pull from the name. So we'll go over here to Visual Studio and we'll start a new website in C Sharp. Uh, I like to do an empty website because it just comes up with the web config. So let's go ahead and add a new item. A web form. We'll go to our design page. Uh, we'll give ourselves some space up in here. Uh, first thing I want to do is I want to put in a uh, text box. And we're going to leave all of the defaults, text, uh, their instance name, text box one, button one, uh, grid view one. So uh, let's go ahead and throw the button in here. I'll tell you what, we can change its text to search just for the fun of it. And uh, now we're going to throw in a grid view. Let's go to our data section. Grid view one. Leave it unconfigured because we'll configure it in our code. Go ahead and save everything. Now double click on your button click event. Bring us into our C sharp code. Oh, uh, first thing we want to do is we want to declare our connection string to the database. Uh, but the first thing we need to do is we need to go ahead and add some of our references here. We're going to use system.data and we're also going to use SQL client. Okay. And that'll allow us to go ahead and put in our connection string. So the first thing we'll do is we'll say SQL connection. SQL connection and I call mine vid vid equals new SQL connection and then quotation marks. Now I've already got my connection uh, set up and everything, so I'm just gonna go ahead and paste it in here. That's my own specific uh, connection string, so yours is going to be different, okay? But that allows us to open and uh, get our pipeline in through to SQL Server. So now we're going to move back down under here to the click event, and uh, we're going to say um, we're going to set up our string. Why is this not working for me? string and I call it str equals now this is where we're gonna put in like our SQL command okay so I'm gonna go ahead and say select star which is all from the table was called customers um, yes customers where parentheses and then column name like which is going to allow us to use wildcard variables wildcard in a variable and uh, what that means is like you put in like a couple of letters of the first name and if it's in that column it'll pull it back so like and then we're going to say percent plus at search which is a variable which is a best practice to, to use and then percent and then we're going to close it and then uh, that. All right now um, we're going to say uh, 
SQL command. I call mine XP. You can call it whatever. Uh, XP equals new SQL command. Um, We need to define our string or use our string. So we go str, comma, using vid for connection string, right? Close that. Uh, now we want to make a um, a reference to our our variable at search. So we're going to say xp uh, dot parameters dot add and then uh, quotation marks and then at search and then go outside the quotation marks give a comma space um, SQL DB type SQL DB type dot nvarchar which is the data type of the column name so we'll go outside and then we'll say dot value equals text box one oops dot text right all right um, now what we want to do is we want to open our connection vid dot open Uh, we want to create, uh, or we want to instruct it to use XP, which is the command, SQL command, XP dot execute non query. What happened? Uh, then we want to go ahead and set up our SQL data adapter. We'll call it DA. New SQL data adapter. Uh, then we want to go ahead and set up our data, our our data set. Oh no, I'm sorry. Um, we do want to declare this DA uh, dot um, select command. P. Uh, yeah. Okay, now we want to declare our data set. Data set DS is new data set. And now we're going to say data set or DA fill. Okay. So DA data adapter dot fill. Parentheses. Uh oh, we've got an error here. Um, data set DA equals new data set. I don't understand. Oh, it's because I used data adapter. Data set should be DS. Excuse me. So now we're going to say uh, DA fill and then use DS. DS, um, comma space, name, because name is the column. Oh, we got to put that in quotation marks. Whoa, that's crazy. Uh, name. Right. Okay. Close that. And now we're going to say uh, grid view one dot data source uh, equals uh, grid grid view one data source equals ds ds is for data source. Okay. Uh, and now we're going to say grid view one dot data bind 
goody one dot data bind. That's right. And then we'll close that. And now we're going to close our connection, which is vid dot close. And there we go. I don't see any kind of errors, weird errors going on here. So go ahead and save that. Go ahead and test it in my Google Chrome. And we'll search. I know that a guy named Mike is in there, so we'll type in Mike, search, and it pulls back the results. I type in Diana, or just D-I-A. Yeah, there's Diane. I type in Sarah. There it is, Sarah. Have fun.